Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great fifth wheel value from Parkway RV Center. You're going to love this one today, folks. This is, in all the years I've been doing this, this is definitely one of my most favorite fifth wheels I've shot. Uh, this is a, the big dog. Uh, this is Keystone's top of the line model, the Alpine. 2014 Keystone Alpine, model number 3620. Folks, this thing's got a class leading six slide outs. Uh, this was $93,000 just four or five years ago. And with the extra options, I'm sure this thing was closer to the six figure mark because it's got extra options like the um, six point hydraulic leveling system and much more. Folks, this was designed, it's the first year this came out, this was designed to be the ground up to be the ultimate live-in, full-time luxury fifth wheel. Innovative, luxurious, live livable fifth wheel is what they advertise this as. And when you see it, you're going to see why. Um, you know, this thing brand new, it was not cheap. And even now, it's still worth quite a bit more than I'm asking for it. Um, six slide outs. It's 40 feet, three inches long total. Weighs about 12,300 some odd pounds. And this thing is absolutely beautiful, folks. One of the best insulated fifth wheels on the market today. Loaded with options. Notice the front cap. You know, most modern fifth wheels have the HD Max uh, on the front cap which is a dyed fiberglass, and you know they've been having issues with that fading. Well, this is actual full body paint, just like a Class A motorhome on the front cap, uh, multi-layer painting and clear coat, so it's not going to fade like the uh, HD Max front covers do. Looking around, folks, this has actually got the best insulation of pretty much any fifth wheel out there. Um, even the holding tanks are R37. You've got R40 floor. This was independently tested by Dometic, Cooling, uh, Dometic Corporation who builds air conditioners and refrigerator. This unit was kept in a negative four degree environment uh, in their cool testing room, which is basically a great big freezer. For 24 hours at negative four degrees using only the factory heating systems on board. Inside the living room, stayed at 72 degrees, the bedroom stayed at 70 degrees, bathroom at 75, and the enclosed underbelly where all your plumbing is stayed at 58 degrees. Now folks, that's impressive. Looking around at folks, I mean this thing's pretty much immaculate. The striping, the finish, no scratches that I can find. Corners aren't beat up, beautiful colors. It's a wide body, so it's 100 inches wide, almost eight and a half foot wide. LED lights. As I said before, it's got the six point level up system, which is basically uh, hydraulic leveling jacks that can pick up to 60,000 pounds. And it's got the auto level feature too. So you push a button, it levels itself. 12 gallon DSI water heater. I mean, this thing is absolutely beautiful and got one of the best floor plans I've ever seen in an RV. Frameless windows, so you don't have to go out there and caulk those windows every couple of years like you do traditional frame windows. So that's less maintenance. Got a full walk-on TPO roof system with a 12-year factory warranty. Folks, that's the same roof system they put on Walmart Supercenter, so you know it's going to hold up. 110 cubic feet of outside pass-through storage. Some in the front, but most of it in the back. This thing has got a massive, class-leading amount of storage. Of course, tires look great, got the alloy wheels. I mean, folks, got the little 3D graphics, little photorealistic graphics in the striping. I mean, this thing is absolutely beautiful, folks. Let's look inside and you're going to fall in love with this one. As we step inside, folks, zero smoke or pet odors. Zero. 
No live-in wear and tear. This has not been a live-in unit. You step into the middle kitchen, and what a beautiful kitchen, folks. Corian countertop, residential-style faucet, sprayer. 22-inch oven, Whirlpool microwave. 12 cubic foot Dometic refrigerator freezer. And it's got the front lounge, but a different type of front lounge floor plan. Look at the nice wide walkway leading up into your front lounge. And be honest with you folks, I, I'm kind of digging this better than traditional front lounge fifth wheels where the TV and the fireplace are in the very front because you get a full eight foot wide sofa leather and that is a sleeper sofa in the front so this can double as a second bedroom if you need it to plus you get your uh, another leather sofa right here big tv i'm thinking that's a 46 inch and they didn't use anything but high um high end electronics samsung tv bose stereo samsung blu-ray player of course i've got it on antenna right now and this is a huge front lounge, folks. Huge front lounge. And you've actually can, if you wanted to, for whatever reason or another, you've got TV hookups on that wall there as well. And this is pretty cool because I like the way this sofa is shaped. Um, you've got the little partition right here so you can lean back and watch TV all you want. They even put plug-ins right here so you can plug your phone chargers up. Residential style lighting beautiful cabinet work folks i'm six foot four and i can walk all the way around this front lounge without worrying about hitting my head i do like the residential style mco um, shades instead of those traditional day night shades that you always got to restring and that does have a fireplace uh, that doubles as an electric heater you can set it just for the effect and, and folks i i know it's it's technically summertime, but winter's coming. Well, that's not a Game of Thrones reference, but that is the truth. And who wants to buy a nice, beautiful fifth wheel like this and not be able to use it in the wintertime? This one you can. Um, it's got the new Whisper Quiet heating and, and uh, heat pump and air conditioning system. You've got 30,000 BTU of cooling power, 42,000 BTU of heating power, and that's not including that fireplace, which will throw out, I'm sure, an extra seven, 8,000 BTU of, of heating power. Got a ceiling fan, nice tall ceilings, crown molding. You can see why this is a $100,000 fifth wheel when it was new. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Uh, wrought iron uh, handrail. Look at this beautiful kitchen, folks. Solid wood cabinets. Um, Corian sinks, resi huge residential size, stainless steel, double basin sink. Like I said, 12 cubic foot Dometic, and it's ice cold, folks. I've already got it on. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I mean, wow. If you're looking for a big live-in fifth wheel in, in this price range, you don't buy this. You know, the only way you're going to get one nicer than this is spend a hundred grand on a brand new one, and that's the truth, folks. I've got a factory brochure in here, and I'll also have that available on our website in PDF, so you can download it, uh, read it on your phone, computer, or um, of course print it out if you want to. Beautiful floors. It's got the central vacuum system, power awning, of course, so you can set your awning up and down with just a push of a button. Three burner stove top, stainless steel appliances. Wow. Drawers and cabinet space galore. I mean, this would be a huge pantry. I'm going to tell you something, folks. I'm a Class A motorhome man myself. This right here would tempt any motorhome uh, motor shopper to look at fifth wheels when you see this thing in person. You really will. Again, notice a nice wide walkway, and this goes up into the bedroom bathroom area. Over here to the left, now they've never had one put in it, but it does have hookups for a stack washer and dryer, and we can certainly add one for a very affordable price if you would like us to. 
or you can use this like the previous owners did and use this for storage. Fridge door leading into the bedroom. Open the bathroom door here. Got a beautiful little bathroom. Uh, high rise porcelain toilet. Big shower. Ooh, that air is cold in here. <laughs> um, huge shower, skylight, good tall roof, so you don't have to worry about hitting your head even when you're my height. Corian vanity top. Big medicine cabinet. And you've got a solid sliding door here if you want to isolate the bathroom from the rest of the RV. Look at this uh, beautiful, cozy bedroom right here, folks. King Island bed. And let me tell you something, folks. I ordered, uh, this is a brand new mattress, inner spring mattress that I ordered for this RV. Uh, the mattress was missing when it came in. I don't know why, uh, but I ordered a brand new custom fit mattress that fits perfectly, never been slept on. I know that's a big concern with a lot of RV shoppers is they don't want to lay on somebody else's mattress. So you don't have to worry about that. Brand new, still in the plastic. I, I ordered it, had it built just for it, and it's in there. It's several hundred dollars. But you don't have to worry about it. Got a headboard, uh, TV, plenty of closet space in here. And, and let me tell you something, it is frigid in here cold and it's still almost 90 degrees outside plenty of drawer space closet space i mean wow beautiful carpets in here no stains anywhere on the carpets and this is all solid wood this isn't that particle board stuff i mean you know, and this is actually a good thing, folks. When they built this model, they didn't care about weight reduction. Because, let me tell you something, when it comes to fifth wheels and travel trailers, this old saying is 100% is the truth. The heavier it is, the longer it's going to last, and the better it's built. And that is true with this Alpine. Folks, here's the thing. Um, this thing was purchased, I guess, Four and a half, five years ago, for close to a hundred thousand dollars. If you'd bought this thing brand new five years ago and financed it, paid ten percent down, all that stuff, you would owe still seventy, seventy-five thousand dollars on this coach. But, and there's no way unless you spent about thirty grand to to cover your negative equity. There's no way you could afford to sell it for what I'm selling this one for. Forty-four nine. And folks, look online, look these up online, look what they're bringing, look what the NADA says it's worth. I mean, this thing is a bargain at $44.9. And not only in that, but let me tell you what all you get for that price. You get this beautiful, immaculate 2014 Alpine 3620 FL. This is how it came in, folks. It's not been checked out by my certified RV techs. Everything I've touched on, it works. However, we're going to go through a, uh, an extensive RV component checkout and make sure everything on that list works perfectly. And if it doesn't, we're going to repair it, replace the part, or repair it at no additional cost to you. So no matter what it costs us for this unit to pass our inspection with flying colors, that you're guaranteed that 44.9 price. And that is not 44.9 plus thousands of dollars in fees like other dealers charge, like dock fees, prep fees, freight fees, setup fees, corporate fees, acquisition fees, etc. 44.9 plus applicable sales tax, that's it. And if you got a question how much your sales tax will be, when and where you have to pay it, sales tax laws are complicated. Uh, they vary from state to state, sometimes they even vary on how you pay for it, cash, trade, or finance. Uh, contact my sales department. They're not commissioned, so there's no sales pressure or no gimmicks. No, they're not going to call you back 20 times a day like these commission salespeople do. They're going to answer your questions, and if you don't want to talk to them again, they're not going to bother you. Um, they're not going to call you and bother you. But um, get a hold of them and ask them what your sales tax will be and when and where you have to pay it, whether it's to us or to your county's DMV office. Um, 
Also, they'll send you over a copy of the inspection sheet that we go through after this unit's purchased. And they'll go over it with you if you want them to and show you what it covers, what it doesn't cover, etc. Um, and I'll go ahead and tell you the high points that it's things that it doesn't cover. It covers virtually everything on here except TVs, and they obviously work. And it doesn't cover tires, and this is a 14 model. I don't think tires are going to be a concern for several more years. Other than that, I mean, it literally covers everything on a towable RV like a fifth wheel. So, and they'll go over in more detail with you what all it covers, how we check it, etc. But keep in mind, folks, we've been doing this for half a century. We've got it down to an art form. My techs have been with us for several years. I mean, they know their job and they're good at it. Of course, they know it and they cost us a bunch of money, but that's a different rant for a different day. Um, but, folks, this is a beautiful fifth wheel. Come look at this fifth wheel. You're going to be, you're going to fall in love with it, folks. This is, like I said, in all the hundreds of fifth wheels that I've shot videos on since I've been doing these videos since 2010, um, this is probably my favorite. Just because I love the way this rear lounge is made, and I love the fact that the height clearance, it's got six foot eight height clearance in the slide outs, in the, in the, in the side over there. I mean, this thing is designed to be the fifth wheeler's fifth wheel. Now, I know this is made to live in, and I know, but that doesn't stop you from using it for a weekend camper either. Um, it's 40 feet, three, three inches long. You know, you're going to need a healthy truck to tow it. I would recommend a diesel one-ton dually. And I know a single wheel can tow this. Most single wheels can. I know that. I know you single wheel guys don't want a dually, but I'm speaking from my experience of years of towing these things back when I used to be a transporter. If you ever have a blowout on your tires on your truck in a single wheel at 70 miles an hour, you're hitting the ditch. If you're in a dually and you have a blowout, you can still retain control of the truck in the fifth wheel. So that's why we only use dually pickup trucks for these big fifth wheels. Because now if you're with a smaller fifth wheel, it doesn't matter. You can control it. But when you get something this big and this heavy behind your truck, you would rather have more towing capacity than you need than not enough so uh, that's my recommendation now i'm not going to say if you come in here with a with a single wheel truck one ton or three quarter you can't tow it that's up to you uh you need to check with your dealer to see what your truck's fifth wheel towing capacity is because we can't tell you and we can't legally tell you, you can't buy it just because you're under uh because your truck's not heavy enough to tow it that's up to you so um but anyway that's my recommendation you can take it or leave it this is a beautiful rv i'd hate to see somebody tear it up um but anyway uh 44.9 will trade that's an option a haggle free price you get this unit and this is what all you get for 44.9 you get this unit checked out after purchase by my rv techs we don't check them out beforehand folks because when you have a couple of hundred sets of customers a week going through these things unescorted, they tear stuff up like crazy. Uh, I'm not complaining, but we spend, you'd, you'd be surprised how many thousands of dollars a year that we spend repairing damage done by customers on the lot. And it, what we've learned is after something sits out here for two or three or four weeks and before it sails and we, uh, and after it's been checked out, we have to check it out again because customers have damaged it. So. It doesn't do any good to check it out beforehand. Uh, we're doing double the work for the same profit. So you can certainly understand from a business point of view why we don't check them out until we sell them. But this thing will be freshly checked out for you. And after it's checked out, my cleaning crew will get a hold of it inside and out. Um, then my service manager, Gordy, is going to do his final walkthrough, make sure everything's to his satisfaction. And then it gets locked up and stays locked up until you arrive. He's going to call you to set up an appointment for your walkthrough demonstration. And he's going to set up, and then it's going to stay locked up until you get here. That way you don't have to worry about nobody walking through it, tearing anything up. It's ready to go for you and clean and ready to go. And once you arrive at your appointed time, folks, the RV tech that checked it out knows it better than anybody. He's going to spend some time with you, give you a personal one-on-one -on -one walkthrough demonstration, how to operate everything everything show you everything on our list works in fact he'll go through a checklist with you that you'll sign stating that we showed you all those systems work and um, 
After that, we'll help you hook it up to your pickup truck, or if you're having it delivered, folks, we can uh, set up a time for that. We do offer nationwide delivery and free local delivery up to 100 miles one way, but keep in mind, folks, my delivery drivers do not do checkouts or demonstrations, so if you want the tech to do the demonstration checkout, you're going to have to come here to have that done before it gets delivered by one of my drivers. They pretty much, they don't set up campers. They'll help you level it up and unhook it and put your rooms out, and that's it. Um, and then keep in mind too, folks, my drivers don't use four wheel drive trucks. They're not going to take it off road. Uh, in fact, the trucks cannot leave the pavement. So please keep that in mind. If you're putting it in your yard and it's been raining and stuff like that, they're not going to take it off the gravel or pavement. Um, you'll have to have somebody move it from there with a tractor or something. And I had that happen the other day. And you know, that's just common sense, folks. These are, these are very expensive fifth wheels. And our trucks aren't cheap either. So if there's any risk at all that we're going to damage your fifth wheel or our pickup truck or get them stuck, we're not going to do it. I'm sorry, folks, but uh, that's just common sense. And we can, like I said, we offer nationwide delivery. This is a deal that somebody's going to travel to buy. I mean, this thing's priced so far under book, so far under market value. This Somebody could easily justify traveling a couple thousand miles to buy this fifth wheel if this is what you're looking for. I mean, literally, you're getting a ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 better fifth wheel than you're paying for is the best way I can describe it. And this is something that's going, that if you take care of, it's gonna last you for a long time. Um, but you get all that, you get that demonstration walkthrough and, and delivery if needed. Uh, you get a 90-day nationwide limited warranty that's included with it at no additional charge to you for that $44.9 price. You get 21 nights of free camping, up to seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide. And um, that's included as well. And then you get an RV starter kit, which is a five-gallon bucket with all your camping essentials, sewer hose, water hose, pressure reducer, chemicals, toilet, special toilet paper, and everything else you need to be able to dump your tanks and, and use your water systems, etc. As well as an instructional DVD, how to use your fifth wheel, that we give you as well. And all that's included for $44.9 plus tax, and uh, that's it. No extra fees. We do offer an option B. Option B is saves you some money, saves us time and money, so we pass along that to you. And option B includes this fifth wheel just like it sets, no checkout, no demonstration, no inspection, no warranty, no free camping. Basically, you get the fifth wheel hooked to your truck. Um, that's it. You know, if there's anything wrong with it now or in the future, it's 100% your responsibility. Um, that's as is, and that's the legal term of that. Buyer is 100% responsible for all current and future repairs, and there are, no, there, there are no exclusions to that rule. Anyway, folks, as long as you understand the conditions of the option B price, then we'll give you a discounted price, and you can be your own judge about uh, what you want to fix and what you don't want to fix, if it needs anything at all, which I'm seriously or doubtful about. Somebody that spends 100 grand on a fifth wheel and it's kept this thing up as nice as this one has, as chances are I'm sure everything's in good shape, but I can't guarantee it. And what I recommend doing, my personal opinion, is as with any used vehicle, it is a five-year-old used vehicle, please don't buy it sight unseen. Uh, come out, look at this fifth wheel, uh, spend some time in it, get to know it, let us know you're coming, we'll try to hook it into power and have the fridge and the airs on, have it cooled off where you can spend some time in here without getting a heat stroke. And uh, get to know it a little bit before you decide if this is the one for you or not. Please don't take, uh, you know, what everything I say about the condition is my personal opinion with 22 years in this industry. And uh, you can see I've done 2,400 plus videos. So, but again, that's my opinion. One thing I've learned after so many years doing this Everybody has different opinions about everything, including what kind of condition a five-year-old used fifth wheel for less than half price of what it costs new is supposed to be in to be considered nice enough for that said person to buy it. 
And I think this thing's a nine and a half out of 10. Next person that looks at it may think it's a five out of 10. The person after that may think it's a 12 out of 10. You don't know and nobody's right, nobody's wrong. Everybody just has their own opinion. They're not facts. Come out, look at it, form your own opinion about this RV, the condition of it, how nice it is, how little it's been used before you decide if this is the one for you. And I know that's inconvenient for a lot of people, but let me tell you something, folks. Um, come out, look at it first. Even if you have to fly, jump on a plane and fly here, it's just a few hundred bucks to fly. We'll take you back and forth to the airport if we need to. Um, and we'll pick you up for free. We'll do that for free at Chattanooga, Tennessee Airport during business hours. That's no problem. Anyway, folks, you, that way there's no buyer's remorse, no regrets for anyone. Because like I said, as nice as this unit is, it's still five years old. It's still used. That's why it's forty-four nine, not $100,000. Now, if you want to go buy a $100,000 unit, by the time you use it a few times and it gets this age, it's going to be worth what this one's worth. So if you've got that kind of money to burn, then by all means, folks, um, there's Keystone dealers everywhere, and they'll sell you a brand new one of these for 100 grand. So, But this one will do everything that brand new one will do for less than half price. Thank you for watching, folks. Uh, we, if you have any questions, financing is available with approved credit, nationwide deliveries available. We're a 50-year-old family-owned and operated used RV dealership right here in Ringgold, Georgia. We sell five to 600 used units a year. We don't play around, folks. We, we price these things to sell. All of our prices are haggle-free. doesn't matter how you're paying for it, whether it's cash, trade, or finance. It's all cash to us. And, um, and you can see by our prices, we got the lowest ones out there. I mean, if you want to haggle, this thing's $55.9. We'll start haggling, or we'll put you right on the money with the warranty, with the inspection, and everything else that we offer, it's $44.9 haggle-free. Thank you for watching. Please contact us for an option B price. Uh, come out and visit with us. Look forward to seeing you in beautiful.